I think that you can make dancing anything you want it to be. I still continue to dance just like I would if I didn't have a disability. This is my bathroom that we've had adapted so I can get ready and shower on my own. We put in this touch pad. When I was eight years old, I was diagnosed with transverse myelitis, but now I'm 17 and my diagnosis is acute flaccid myelitis. It's caused by a virus attacking the spinal cord rather than my own body attacking the spinal cord. Since I can't reach my uh, hair or my face, I just put my elbow up here and then I can do my makeup. I can't lift my arms up higher than this and my right hand is weak. Until I was 15, I never really actually got to take a shower by myself. It was really like emotional for me. The first time I took a shower in my bathroom and I was really excited because I was being independent. April 19th, 2010, it's a really hard day to talk about. We went to her dance class. She said she had what she called a headache, really bad headache. It got so bad to the point that I was crying, so my mom was just going to take me home to rest. She's like, Mom, my, hand, my hands don't work. And it kind of just, <laughs> goes through you when your child says something like that. She couldn't stand, she was just a dead weight. So I carried her into the urgent care. A million things go through your head. This is, this is my baby girl. There's you and me, <laughs> looking younger and pretty. <laughs> I remained in the hospital for two months where I was in the ICU for 12 days. I'm unable to do buttons and zippers on clothes, so getting dressed is almost impossible for me. It actually damaged my mood when I had to have my mom help me get dressed for school in the morning. It just felt like really unnatural to have someone getting me dressed since that was something I should be doing on my own. Since I've had AFM for nine years, I most likely won't get any more recovery back, but I've clearly recovered a lot since I was paralyzed from the neck down. Here's another Tommy Hilfiger dress that's really cute. I love this dress. It has magnets in the back instead of a button or zipper, so it makes it really easy for me to put on. Now I'm able to walk um, and my legs are basically normal. I feel like I still have a really good life. I always tell people that I'm still a normal teenager, just with a few other challenges. This is me and One Direction on my Make-A-Wish trip, and Harry's holding my book in the picture. One of my biggest accomplishments, I think, is publishing three books. I wrote and published my first book when I was 11 in 2013. I share my story of how I got AFM. Typing is hard for me because I only have the use of one hand, so I type just with one finger, but it's still much easier than writing. So I typed out my whole book on a Google Doc. A lot of people think that people with disabilities aren't capable of doing what able-bodied people can do. I still have a disability, but I still continue to dance just like I would. If I didn't have a disability, I just do it in my own way. I love her determination to continue dancing because it really was her first love. 
I honestly don't know what I'd do without my mom because I love her just like my best friend. From an outsider looking in, it would be easy to say that every day is a struggle, but she just doesn't let it be that. I always look forward to my ballet classes after school, and now choreographing dances is one of my favorite hobbies. She is so brave, she has just forged ahead. Stay positive and still love life and realize that it can be difficult having a disability, but it's not like a game changer for enjoying your life. A